Hey guys, Destiny here, and welcome back to the video, and today we're back in again with the Super Sentai Review. Oh baby, what is we doing? I'll tell you what is we doing. We are doing the episode 1 review for Lupin Ranger vs. Pot Range. Now, I usually never reveal, talk about, review Sentai, but maybe I will with this series. Let's reach that like goal, 100 likes, maybe I'll do it. Shout out to the E-Squad, ringing the notification bell, and of course, subscribing. And shout out to my one Patreon account of one. So uh, yeah, let's let's get right to episode one, baby. Let's go. Lupin, Lupin Rangers, Pot Ranger, boom, boom, boom. Police, I'ma get you. So this episode is mostly focusing on the Lupin Rangers, who are the Thief Sentai, and of course, you know, there's also the Pot Rangers, but you know, they're on the side. But I think in the next episode, we'll probably get some more information about them because we don't know much about them. We know more about the Lupin Rangers and like their rules, their promise, or whatever. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out something about the Pot Rangers. I don't know. But the Lupin Rangers are off to you know get some treasure or whatever. Um, and basically, how the villains work is that they take on the disguise of humans, as most monsters do sometimes in Sentai, and they have a treasure inside of them. What the Lupin Rangers want to do is they want to you know bust that guy open, get that treasure, unlock it. And get the treasure what is part of the Lupin collection. What the Pot Rangers want to do is, well, uh, take them down. Take take them down, I guess. They don't need treasure. Just take, destroy the monster. And I guess to get those Lupin Rangers too, they're a menace. The Lupin Rangers are really cool. I like the red one. The blue one's also cool, you know, very mischievous and a little, a little sarcastic. You know, like me. And the yellow one is a little... Trying to, be, trying to be funny, it's a little annoying, I don't know, maybe I'll get used to it, I don't know. The Pot Rangers, however, those guys are very serious. They really care about the job, and the green one is really happy. He's a happy-go-lucky guy, but red and pink are the Power Rangers, oof, they're trouble. They're trouble, man, they're ready. And of course, each team got their own like mentor in a sense. The Looper Rangers got this old guy who basically assigned them the mission, and the Pot Rangers has, well, the, the Chief Head, which is a really cool guy, this, this man right here, oof. What a, what a great guy. I like him. I just like his mustaches. And he also have like a little robot too, which is... Every since then he's like a robot companion, don't they? I gotta applaud this episode because the episode has a lot of good choreography when it comes to the way of its fight scenes. The first fight scene is absolutely amazing. It's like an unmorphed fight scene. And you can see all the tricks they, they were doing or whatever. Especially, you know, when it comes to cinematography and how they did every shot. There were a lot of cool shots they used. There's like a 360 camera at the end of the episode. There's some really cool shots. And some slow motion. I'm really liking that. So the cinematography and the fight scene, the unmorphed one, is really good. When they get morphed, you know, you get the usual Sentai special effects. But I'm just really liking the overall uh, aspect, the vibe of those fight scenes. The villain faction, we got a little introduction to that. Um, their motive really isn't to destroy the world. The big head of the villain faction wants to have a descendant, a successor to his rule. And basically he's like, oh, whoever destroys the human world gets to be gets to take my place so it's not really him wanting to destroy the world he just wants to find a successor it's like hey if you do this it means that you're worthy the music in this episode is really super duper good it gets that jazz vibe when you see that villain faction you get that jazz vibe in it the Lupin Rangers also has that same type of jazz vibe they also work at a French restaurant so you kind of see where they're coming from it's all classical a really nice vibe while the Lupin Rangers you know very strict very what type of music is strict music? Don't, 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 epic music? I don't know. Overall, this episode was just really good. I'm very invested in the characters, their story. I'm just excited how to see the Lupin Rangers and the Power Rangers fight against each other. You know, when are they gonna get along? Will they get along? Will they be friends? Or will they, like, hey, let's work together, but you know, we're still enemies, so. I um, definitely want to see what's going to happen next. So, thank you guys for watching. Lupin Ranger, Power Ranger, episode one. Maybe I'll be back next week for episode two. Who knows? Leave a like. Let's the game. Have a great day. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. It's all linked in the description, guys. Come on. East Quarter React. Represent. That's the game. Alright. We loop it now. Thief change. Police change. I don't know. Stats.